Chắc cây tí Pick this up at a yard sale. It's a single bed. I haven't got a bed head, but it doesn't matter. But I do have the slats for the to hold the mattress. So basically, I've got everything I need. So it's just to design the thing a little bit. This is my design stage and it's purely where I clamp on bits of wood, unclamp them, smooth them, till eventually I get it to be exactly the way I want it to look. Uh, the biggest thing in the background here is you've got to put a two year old, so you're lifting a two year old into the bed and you've got to be able to make the bed. So they're the two things in the background of my mind. Uh, you also have to hop in there to be able to read a story, so you don't want to have it too complicated to get in. And you don't want to come inside of the side rails because the mattress needs the width of the side rails to drop down into there. So with that as a background, this is me designing this bed.
I've got everything looking the way I'm happy with it. I can take all my measurements from this frame as it stands there. All the angles of the wood, everything. So that's what I'm doing right now. These have got a lot of holes, but it's good wood, it's good clean wood, all the angles are cut. Because the edges of these are, are quite warped, I've, I've planed down the edges just with the saw blade, and now I'm going to do the two sides. And I'll also bring it into the same width as the, the rails on the side of the bed. So, just a simple, push it through, and we just shave a little bit off the edge. Just brings it back to nice new wood. Because we're going to be gluing to this, now I've made my wood the same width, but we've got to get rid of that bevel on the bottom edge, so we'll just knock just a touch off, make it nice and flat, give us a good seat. center of this joint. saying about 
We've got our piece, our join. All right, get this back. And we've got our clamp pulling directly down, holding that join together. And those top two clamps are purely holding that top board on. It'll be halfway across the wheel, so it'll be a little bit more than that. And track back in on that same angle. And this will just be sitting on the floor. It's not folded to the bed at all. And this back looks pretty good. I'm happy with that on the wheels there. Looks pretty cool. So I've got to make a, a bed head, which I think will just come up to, to there somewhere. And the legs, obviously. And then on the back, I'll have plywood. Uh, 
and that'll go up under the top here. So all nice and easy, pull apart, easy to get into the room, everything's nice and flat. This is the, the front piece that comes out over the bucket. Uh, I'm just going to knock these two corners off, just a bit sharp, so that when I run the router around it'll all be nice and smooth. More kid friendly. Nice kids. Threads for the wheels. I've purely run it through the saw bench and cleaned up three faces. Right. So what we've got, we want to cut. This is the tread on the. So if you could pitch it, they're going to sit like that around the wheel. And I'll do a little curvy thing going on here. Run the router down, round them over a bit, but they'll sit roughly like that around the wheel. Now, I'm going to cut two discs, and I'm going to cut through there, and in just a bit more than the disc. So this bit will be gone, the disc will sit into, sit into that. And I'll be able to just nail it sideways. So a bit of glue and nail, and all my treads will all just go on really nice. And they should hold the the wheel generally solid. So that's the plan. Now I've made a bit of a jig. And we've got the good side, and then we'll go against the fence. I've just got three bits of wood. This one is the same width as a tread. And I've got a spot to hold it, so I can just put it in there like that, push it, and it'll go across the blade and do my cut. Now I've set the blade the right height, and I've also set it the right width from here that I want it. So what we'll do is push it through, cut, flip it over, push it through, cut the other end, done. So we've cut our two ends right through. Now we've got to get rid of these. So we put a cut up on each side and cut these out. Now when I originally cut these, I was planning on using half inch MDF for the rim or the wheel, whatever you want to call it. And this, this will be on the tread. But I've since thought about it and I have 10 mil uh, particle board from packing material so I've got that for nothing so I'm going to use that instead all it means is there'll be a two mil this this one in theory is cut two mil too deep which no one will see anyway so I've set my blade to be cut there and I've just made up a, a simple jig oh, we'll, we'll put him back in with the good side up 
I just push it against that block. So it's pushed against that block and I run it over the saw. And the saw is set to the right height to cut up into that gap. We push him through, it cuts that block and I've added a little bit of wood to the back of my, my slide and that's purely when I cut this bit of wood will get cut out and I don't want him floating around here and falling in my, down my, my saw, in my saw blade. So with that, that'll get dragged through on this side and take that bit of wood away to the other side of the blade. So anyway, let's give it a run. That'll do nicely. So that's our treads. Now I just want to curve over the top edge, which is where the treads will look like that. Uh, so it's just down these two edges. I just did a little test piece. Uh, happy with that. So my blade set up. Now I just want to make a little jig so I can do it safely. Nice and simple, on there, push it past the blade. So what I'm doing now is just curving over this outside edge. So we get the treads nice and smooth. Quick rub with the sandpaper and this shouldn't look too bad. They're supposed to be a bit rustic. This is just a test block. But to keep it square and keep my fingers away from the blade, I've just got a 90 degree bend here. This is just an off cut of MDF. And that just holds that in there, holds this nice and square and across. Alright, we've made our treads for around the wheel. They'll sit something like that. Now we've got to make the disc for the wheel, which I'll make now this stuff. Top of these, a half an inch. So we've got two of these. So we'll measure the size of the wheel, take this off, and that'll give us the size of the disc. Twenty-five inches minus the inch for them. So we get a two-foot disc we need.
these two bits of wood that I'm gluing and nailing on now will be on the inside of the wheels and they will be where the screws go through to attach the wheels so that'll give us the strength in the in the wheel the bottom of these discs are marked so to be able to find out where those boards are you go from the bottom marker now that bottom marker will also be where I start my treads when I nail the treads on around the outside of the wheel and so if there's an odd size tread which would be the last tread you put on that'll also be at the bottom of the wheel so you won't see it
bottom of the bucket and this piece that's going to fit in here is just going to sit in just like that so and see him there, but he's flush on the inside edge, which is where everyone will see it. Uh, I'm going to put him in there, tap it, and then I'll just sand these off, these little points off. No good cutting them off now, I'll just run the sander across. That's the feet screwed on. Looking from the bottom, obviously. Right, this is the bucket so far. Get our shells in. Now we want to put a few wear bars on it. What they have on the real loaders. I'll be about half an inch, half an inch sticking out, cut, painted the same colour as the bucket, but should give it a bit of depth to the sides. So I'll do that on both sides. Well, I've marked out what I want for the bucket. So I'll run the jigsaw around and double it up as two layers, and I'll cut both pieces out at the same time. So 
Can you begin? I'm gonna sit on there like that. I'm just gonna run the router around here, just a small round over bit, just so we don't have that sharp edge. This is still the two pieces, just tacked together. So, I'll do that, I'll split it, and then we'll glue these ones on. Now, I'm cutting the pieces for here, and then I'll fit on there like that. And what that is, I've just put two bits of MDF together. Cut a couple of 45s through the two pieces. So I've done the same on the same other end. That'll let me router a nice smooth edge around it. And then I'll cut it off the length, which will just be across here. And that'll give me my four pieces. There we go, done the routering on both sides. So now I'll just cut them off the length. So we end up with our four pieces and split it. And we're ready to go. finished and that we need two more. I think that looks a lot better. I think this looks a little bit bare and it needs a, a disc. Just did that with a hole saw without the drill in the middle. Just did a bit of a test run, put it all together. This is where we're up to. I've got the slats in. Nothing screwed together yet, it's all just sitting. And that was more just to test the, the bed head I've just made, which is this. They're just sitting really nice against the, the rails, the uprights. So the next job we do is put the ply on the back. salvage from old louver doors so I'll just rip this bit off and we'll have a nice clean bit of wood to make the frame for that right. old 
shave down. Nice. You can still see the hinge holes. And on some of them you can see the dowels. I've just taken it smaller. Anyway, that's our timber to make the frame. far enough now. So we'll go with that, I think. My biggest thoughts was when you're putting them in the bed, but uh, you've got a pillow here to start with, so really you're just putting them there. And I don't think this is going to be an issue. You've got to be on that side of the wheel anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Cabin. I've notched in, ready for the side pieces. I'll sit in there. I've cut a groove down the top. So the, so the lid can actually sit down in it and be flush and it'll give me somewhere to nail. So that makes it all nice and strong. And that, the only disadvantage in that is I've cut straight through there. You get this little notch out here. But that's fine, I'll fill that. Just 
these are the discs I'm putting on. They'll sit just like that. And I'll put wheel nuts around the outside. So I just need a, a circle so that I can get that in the right spot. center for the wheel nuts. Alright, so we're having six wheel nuts. So six wheel nuts to work out where they go is really simple. We just draw a line straight through. And that's two. We already have our scribe, so we've got our width of the, the circle there. So we put on that dot, that's one. On this dot. Two, and as you can see that gap's the same so there's our six nice and simple I'm gonna come around always put the camera in the wrong spot there and there so there's my six wheel nuts I've drilled the six holes where the nuts will fit uh, they'll be screwed on the nuts because I'll be painted black this will be yellow so I'll paint all this yellow paint the nuts screw them on uh, and by drilling them I can't lose my mark so it's all set ready to go now we just drop this into the circle put a few nails into it I'll put a V on the back of the on the bit I'm gonna glue because the front I've just ran it over lightly it's nothing flash just sandpaper Everything now's had a coat of primer, and this is one of the rails. These are just MDF. I cut them on the on the drill press using a hole saw without the drill bit in the middle. Just clamp the wood down and bring down the hole saw, and that's the bit you punch out of the middle. So that look about the right size to me. So. And now I've cut some wheel nuts. I'll just shoot for the edge just slightly. How did I mark out these nuts? Nice and simple. Got on the computer, found a few hexagon shapes, stretched it to the right size, duplicated it, printed it out on A4 paper and use spray adhesive on the back to glue it to my half inch MDF which is the wood I was using and then purely cut around it and end up with that little bit of sanding knock the top edge off there we go, got a nut as I've already got my holes around here they'll be nice and simple to put on should look pretty cool so there's six nuts for that one. What I'm going to do now is drill a hole right through. And I'm just going to peg these on nails to make it easy to paint. So you'll be able to get to all the sides of it. Oh, 
Let's get some paint on them. So there's my wheel nut. Gonna bolt it on with the, the dark, and this is a bronze screw uh, with a square drive. So. like hidden up under the top. And there's our lights. This is the backboard, so if you're sitting in bed, your head would be there. So, I'm gonna write Ollie's name. Yeah, just like that. Yep, yep, that's good. Get 
there, stay there. You're pretty cool. Can I have one of them? Ta. Okay, there. Here we are at the end of the video. Ollie now has this bed in his bedroom and they don't have any trouble getting him to go to bed. Which is pretty unusual, he's pretty lively. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, there's more to come. Thank you.